How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 update. Now today is actually a pretty big day because some people started to get their hands on the World of Cyberpunk book. This is the official lore book for the game and some people, depending on where you live, are able to get it a little bit early. I still have mine pre-ordered, mine's supposed to get here within the next month, so that kind of sucks. But tons of images have been popping up on the internet, and with that the user DeviantArt has gone ahead and pieced together all the different images of what the map is going to look like based off of the book. So this is the closest that we've gotten to so far for what the official map is going to look like. All these images are canon, like I said this is coming from the lore book, and this is what it looks like when you take all of the individual images of the map, all the different districts, and you take all the pages and you just sort of piece them together like a puzzle, you get a pretty good image of what we can expect the actual map is going to look like. Now do keep in mind a number of things. This isn't what the full map is going to look like. This doesn't show every single side road and detail of what the finished product is going to be. The main purposes of these images is just to show off each individual district in the book. So the final product is going to look a little bit different than this. And this does not show how big the Badlands actually are. We have no clue yet just how big the Badlands stretches for. It could stretch the entire length of this map. We just have no idea yet. But as you can see, the main road breaking off from the Westbrook District is the road that takes you out towards the Badlands. So at first glance of this map, it does seem a little bit underwhelming. I mean, it doesn't look like it's that big. It looks fairly small based off of this image. And then if you compare it to something like Grand Theft Auto V's city map, I mean, that's probably the best comparison to a different video game that we probably have in terms of just open world cities. It just doesn't look like Night City is going to be that massive. But one thing that Night City does have over Grand Theft Auto is its verticality. The actual quote from the producer is, if you look at the pure surface in terms of square kilometers, then Cyberpunk 2077 might even be a little bit smaller than The Witcher 3, but it's the density of the content, taking the world of The Witcher and squeezing it right in, deleting the wilderness between. So they're not really going for size, they're going for more content. You can go into skyscrapers, you can go up, you can go down, I'm sure you can go into different sewers and different like subway tunnels and stuff. This map is going to have just tons Tons and tons of different layers, small details, different buildings you can go in and out of, which to me personally has me more excited than just a big open world with nothing to do. There's tons of examples of open worlds where it's just a huge map with just not very much content, like Assassin's Creed comes to mind. I know when I played Assassin's Creed Origins, a lot of it just felt empty, like I was just running around endlessly with a couple side quests scattered in between. So I'm perfectly fine if the map is more condensed and has way more content and way more details to look at. So I know a lot of people are going to look at this image and they're going to get the feeling that this is just underwhelming. A lot of people have been adjusted to Grand Theft Auto V. That's been sort of the gold standard for open world environments over the past couple years. So there's going to be a lot of people looking at this map and the Badlands and just comparing it to GTA 5's map and getting angry that there's just not as much to explore. But I think it's perfectly fine, especially if you break down each individual district. I think there's going to be a lot of content to explore. Now something interesting that I noticed from these images was that if you look at the Pacifica region, a lot of the ocean fits into the region itself. You have the coast view, you have a little bit of roads, you have the West End Estate, which is probably this big mansion which just sits out overlooking the ocean. So I would imagine you could probably get into boats and stuff and just go out into the water. I don't know why they would include so much of the ocean in this image if you couldn't explore it. So I just think that's pretty interesting that they include so much of the water in the Pacifica region. So I'm willing to bet that there's actually a lot of stuff that you can do out in the water. But that pretty much does it for this breakdown of all the images of the map so far. Hopefully here within the next couple months we get a little bit more information about the Badlands and just how big the Badlands are. Because we don't really know much about the Badlands. There's some potential where it could double the map size, we just don't know. Plus we don't know just how much more they could add to the map in future DLC. We just have no idea what their future plans are. But regardless, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you guys happy with the map size? Does it look a little bit underwhelming to you? Regardless, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for all notifications. I'm going to be covering a lot more cyberpunk here going forward. So if you want to keep up on all your cyberpunk news, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to join the channel's Discord and follow me on Twitch at Swanee Plays Games Live. And I will talk to you all in the next video.